Princess Anne's husband, Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence, frequently joins the Princess Royal on her many official duties but is not recognized as a working member of the royal family. In the court circular, the official record of past royal engagements, he is noted as accompanied instead of in his own right. Yet a new poll of Express. Co.UK readers has found a staggering 91% support Sir Timothy being a working royal. Anne married Sir Timothy in 1992 and he was not given a title on their wedding day, but a royal commentator has claimed King Charles III should properly recognize him as a working royal. Charlie Proctor, editor of Royal Central. Co.UK, wrote, the monarchy needs working royals to fill the gaps left by the Sussexes and the Duke of York, and to assist the royals who are now of an advancing age. He said the change would mean Sir Timothy would be recognized for his appearances in the court circular and could conduct work independently for the firm. Sir Timothy, he said, enjoys property and regeneration, and as previous chairman of the English Heritage Trust and vice chairman of the Commonwealth War Graves Commission, he could conduct charitable work relating to his interests. Mr. Proctor explained, these are areas in which the 67-year-old is already a great asset to the royal family, however, just imagine how much more could be done if he could carry out royal duties on their behalf. Anne's first husband, Captain Mark Phillips, chose not to become a working royal and their two children, Peter and Zara, were not given HRH titles, enabling them to lead private lives free of royal duties. In a poll that ran from 2 p.m. on Thursday, January 26, to 3.30 p.m. on Tuesday, January 31st, Express. Co.UK asked readers, should Sir Timothy Lawrence be recognized as a working royal? Overall, 4,151 votes were cast with the overwhelming majority, 91%, 3,768 people, answering yes in support of Sir Timothy becoming a working royal. Whereas 8%, 319 people, said no he should not, and a further 1%, 64 people, said they did not know either way. Dozens of comments were left below the accompanying article as readers shared their thoughts on Sir Timothy's status. Many readers commented in support of Sir Timothy being recognized as a working royal, with username DJWV4 writing, Yes, he has shown and proven himself to be loyal to his wife and the monarchy. Likewise, username Jeanette1958 said, yes, he would be a great asset to the ranks of the working royals. Username Terry1010 wrote, Princess Anne has been very dutiful to our country. Her husband would be welcomed as a working royal. And username Theo said, yes, I think he should be, he does accompany Anne on various occasions and he seems a very likeable gentleman. Another, username Luella7 agreed, commenting, Sir Tim often accompanies Princess Anne and tends to stay in the background, he would definitely be an asset to the royal family. Username Pearl2 said, yes. He could certainly take on some of the honorary military roles vacated by Andrew and Harry. While well, username Extrovert wrote, I feel sorry for Sir Tim. If anybody deserves a promotion it's him. And username Mary05 said, the late Queen accepted him as a working royal, and even allowed him on the balcony for the Jubilee. Meanwhile, some readers commented that it should be a matter for Sir Timothy to discuss with the king, like username Jane53, who said, I support the fact it should be between Anne, Charles and her husband. Username Topsy57 wrote, as long as he would like to be considered a working royal. 
Others argued that Sir Timothy should remain as a non-working royal, with username getting hit off writing. The real question is if he wants or is considered enough of an asset for solo visits. Username L said, I have never even heard him speak, let alone attend anywhere alone. He is obviously a good help to his wife, but he is being a husband, not a working royal. And username as a 524 remarked, he appears to be quite content supporting his wife Princess Anne and remaining in the background.